not. He does go for Squirrel Toad, but he's taken every single turret in the game. He's taken uh, machine guns, he's taken sniper balloons, and he's taken artillery. Yep, and here we go. This is game four of the September Showdown Grand Finals with Dead Bones to the east in green with three matches under his belt already and Lil Steamroller to the northwest in yellow. And Dead Bones, with that build, looking to do something cheesy, I think. With the, taking those machine gun nests, uh, leads me to believe he's probably going to go very early chameleons and he's just taking those machine gun nests to Make sure he doesn't lose to early aggression. Yeah, this map isn't great for structure play though. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of open spaces around all three or all four mills that Dead Bones has easy expansion to besides this west one. It's the only one he could turn into a fortress if he's going to utilize all three of these turrets. Um, we'll see though, but it does mean that it's great for chameleon play. Uh, chameleons can sneak around from a lot of different angles, try and take out a uh, surprise, take out a lot of farms all at once. Uh, Dead Bones has gone for 7 farm Warren. Uh, Lil Seymour has gone for 8 farms, but going for the longer uh, economic run opposed to Dead Bones. And so both players building their Squirrel Warrens. Lil Seymour a little bit later with his. This map, Lil Seymour has got a great expansion. Uh, hopefully, he'll put a little bit more into uh, building farms this game. Maybe. Uh, match Dead Bones's eco. Dead Bones is very good with his econ actually. He's very good at building those forward uh, sniper balloons to take the uh, the position he wants, and then just backing it up with loads of farms and then massive army. All right, I I'm going to predict that the Western base is going to become a hashtag Dead Bones base, uh, <laughs> which means it's going to be taken and never scouted by Lol Steamroller. Uh, let's see, has he scouted that? Yes, of course. So he knows that there's a base is there at least. Uh, we'll see if he makes the mistake of so many players in underestimating Dead Bones' ability to take a base in the corner. Dead Bones going to take well, a nice is very good at uh, analyzing his opponents. He knows what Dead Bones likes to get up to, I think. He watches replays like that, and he should know what to expect from Dead Bones. I think everyone should know at this point. <laughs> he does it all the time. And he's going with a very varied build here. He's going with six squirrels, a couple of lizards, a couple of pigeons, and ferrets. He's got a little bit of everything, while Dead Bones has a whole lot of squirrels and a couple of chameleons on the way, All right. as we always like to see. Chameleon Warren has gone down. It's just finished right now, and the first chameleon is starting to build. One farm going down on Dead Bones expansion. Lil Simular has not expanded yet, going instead for the army build. We'll see that might be the downfall of Dead Bones in this game four here. Taking that very aggressive expansion up to the front. He's got uh, ferrets out so he can start poking away at those squirrels in the middle of the field there. Yeah, I think this is going to pay off for him. He's got uh, the perfect army to take this on. He's also got high ground, maybe pushing forward a little bit too much. Uh, that sniper balloon is going to be up very shortly. There it is. It is up right now so we can show you what that uh, sniper balloon does. You can see the entire army in that high ground. So that high ground advantage is gone now. But Lil Steamer is going to follow through, he's going to build a farm, he's going to build a warren. Uh, right there, he's going to try and push aggressively into Dead Bones. He's got to be careful, he doesn't want to get in range of that sniper all in, and Dead Bones is probably going to try and bait him into it. Dead Bones right now just building up farms, he's going up to 12 farms. Uh, Lil Steamroller though, focusing more on his army, he's going up to 12 uh, lizards. And maybe he's going to try and uh, quickly rush that sniper all in while Dead Bones isn't looking. He's checking the rest of the map for the dead bone spaces, <laughs> it looks like. With those lizards. So he has the lizards out there just in case. Uh, not needing them yet. Dead bones. Uh, Maybe he's going for an attack. And he definitely is. Right go. now. Lizards coming in around there. We'll see if the squirrels can get there in time. One farm goes down very quickly and is going to smartly back off. The chameleon doesn't even get a single lizard. Oh, one lizard goes down. Okay, so this is one lizard for a farm. So, good rush in. Steve Roller loses a very small amount of lizards there. Yep. Uh, not that consequential. So, maybe that was a good trade. I see Dead Bones staying at two chameleons. He does have a sniper balloon out and going up to six toads. Try and counter those lizards that Wolstein Miller has. He's now got 12 lizards out on the field. Holy crap. 
Throwing down another sniper balloon in the south there to try and hold off any aggression from those lizards. So a smart play. Ooh. Lol Steamroller's saving up 400 food. He sold one of his lizard warrens and he's putting down a squirrel warren and a wolf warren. Still and he's still got loads of food. Of food. Yeah. Oh, maybe he's like just gonna dump it into squirrels. Maybe he might have been considering going for a second wolf warren, but instead, I that think dumping it into squirrels <laughs> is the better idea at this point. Yeah, he's got to be careful though, because Deadbones is very far ahead in econ. He's got that expansion fully fleshed out and is very well defended now. Ooh, and there's the artillery, artillery cannon that he built is completely finished, covered by a sniper balloon. That is going nowhere anytime soon. Deadbones finally sees that that warrant is pretty much done. He knows it's tier three and he knows to expect some sort of tier 3 in the next minute. So he's got plenty of time to prepare. I think that the choice here for Lil Seymour right now, or it's not even a choice, he needs to build and expand because uh, Deadbones you is really locked are. into this corner here. He's built all of the farms on his expansion uh, instead of putting them into units. Uh, Lil Seymour does have a wolf out, or it will be out very shortly. It's about three quarters done right now. So if Deadbones takes a fight, uh, outside of the uh, range of all of his sniper balloons and artillery cannons, uh, he's going, I think he's going to lose. He is going up to a lot of chameleons, uh, but Lul Seymour, all he needs to do is expand right now. Expand and get lots of farms out. Uh, he's it only got like three. He's, he's going three all farms. in on this fight, really. It looks like he's going all in on this wolf push. Oh, and no. And it's not going to work. He's got the artillery. He, oh. I don't think he even knew the artillery existed, and this has completely ruined his plan. If he loses a single fight, really, he's just out of it completely. And these chameleons, he's chasing Deadbones to take out these chameleons. If he takes out Deadbones' commander, that could be a big deal. And oh, he's oh, found he's a little root. Sneaking around the side, this might work for him. He does see that the chameleons are out right now. The wolf needs to get on front. There goes the wolf buff is down. The base does go down, but there's no farms there farming. Oh, no. So unfortunately, wolf buff wasted on just uh, the mill, although he is uh, pretty ahead in terms of this fight right now. Wolf not the Deadbones is range. streaming his chameleons across the map, and if there's a base race, he needs to take out those bases before Deadbones' uh, new base to the north finishes, and it's not going to work out at all. Oh. There's too many warrants and too many units to get through. The ones down this base race is not going to go. Uh, Lol Seymour does not have enough units to base race right now, and in come the chameleons into Lol Seymour's last base, and it's going to go down very quickly. And Deadbones is going to be your Clash of Comrades September Showdown champion. Congratulations, Deadbones. Wow. Just consistent play every game, really. Lol Steamroller, I think we all had hopes for him there. But Deadbones really just showing that he knows what he's doing. He's the more consistent player. He was doing the right thing pretty much every game. And just won with the same strategy pretty much every game. Uh, he mixed it up with that Chameleon at the end. But he was showing that he could win using just that uh, Sniper Balloon to the front. Uh, and then artillery strategy with the econ behind it. All right. That he's been using all along. Well, let's take it back to our now.